I've made it no secret that I am a huge fan of the Monster Hunter series. I've been playing it since the original in 2004, and it's become one of my favorite franchises. That's why I am really, really pleased to say that Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is easily the best Monster Hunter game they've ever done. Now I would like to point out that all the footage you're going to see is the game being played on an original model 3DS. Now if you're not familiar with the game, you hunt monsters. You are sent out to different areas with your main goal to be kill monsters. You hunt them down, slay them, and then collect pieces of them to use for new weapons and armor. It's essentially like playing through a series of tough boss fights, with each new large monster posing a serious threat, with nothing in between to stop you. You go right to the fight. And you actually hunt them down. This means scouring the area to find where they are and to battle. Often, they'll run away somewhere, forcing you to continue the hunt. It's the combat and gameplay that truly shines in Monster Hunter. It is far from a button masher. You need to use precise strikes and well-timed defenses to be victorious. Running and slamming attack buttons is going to get you killed very quickly. Several of the weapons even reward smarter attacks with stronger hits, making it worthwhile to be articulate than swinging wildly. And it's hard to not get amped up when you're fighting something massive and you end up breaking off several chunks of its scales or sever off its tail, letting you know that you are wearing it down. Kill the monster, collect the pieces. That's the cycle, and it's addictive. You'll be able to create new weapons from the monsters you've killed, only to see that to upgrade it, you need parts from a different monster, making you want to go hunt that thing to continue improving. On top of that, you're constantly making new armor for yourself from your spoils. There is a ridiculous amount of armors and weapon upgrades, and all of them look so cool. You'll always find something new that you want, and you'll work towards making it. And it's this that makes the Monster Hunter games so rewarding. You do not improve by leveling up and having a few stats increased to indicate that you're better. Your progression comes solely from yourself and your own abilities. You became stronger because you learned a monster's attacks and patterns. You became stronger because you improved your armor and weapons. You became stronger because you've earned it, becoming a better hunter. Monster Hunter is one of the most rewarding games ever made, and you feel it constantly. Killing a tough monster is rewarding, making armor from him even more so, and then vanquishing a previously impossible monster even better. The amount of satisfaction and accomplishment that Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate provides is second to none. Of course, the Monster Hunter games have always been like this, but this is a new game, and it adds in new gameplay features. And frankly, these new features elevate the gameplay to fantastic new heights. Maneuverability has always been a major component in any hunt, and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate improves it in every way. Rather than restricting the player's movement, like with swimming from the previous games, they've given you more freedom. You can land from any jump and keep your momentum going now, instead of being stuck in place from the impact. Climbing is also greatly improved, with several new things to scale, with better and quicker movement when climbing. This also translates into combat, and it's one of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate's key new features. Every single weapon can now do a leaping attack off of an edge, making aerial strikes possible. Remember all those times you're fighting alongside a great sword user and he accidentally launches you into the air? Well, now you can do an aerial attack from that, rather than have your time be wasted. In fact, expert players will be able to use this intentionally for another new feature, mounting. Every large monster can now be mounted. Hitting it with enough aerial swings will knock it over and you will land on top of them. This allows you to stab the ever-living crap out of it while it shakes violently to knock you off. This is another new, rewarding feature. Perform enough successful air attacks and you'll be able to mount it and deal heavy damage and immediately knock it over for you and your allies to deal even more damage. This is synergetic with the new climbing system, especially since you can leap from walls to reach your target. I cannot describe the amount of satisfaction that comes from seeing a monster fly up to escape, only for you to bring it down with a leap attack and then start stabbing its hide. The biggest issue that Monster Hunter has always had is how difficult it is for new players to get introduced to the series. 
The gameplay has incredible amounts of depth and nuances that many players simply won't pick up on. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, truly for the first time, features an extensive single player story, and it addresses these issues, sort of. The single player campaign does introduce new players to how the game's basics work, from gathering materials to carving monsters and crafting new equipment. It's all done through dialogue text, which when read, does explain things adequately, but it's also really easy to skip over because there's so much text to read. This game does the best job of informing new players of how the game works compared to any other one, but it certainly doesn't explain everything. And because of that, I still recommend new players asking other players for help or looking at tutorial videos online, which is exactly why I made my own. The single player missions finally have something resembling a story to it. Before, it was essentially, go hunt this thing for me, okay thanks. But in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, you're part of a caravan investigating a strange shard that one of the characters has. This has you traveling to multiple towns, assisting villagers, and of course, hunting monsters. Rather than just a list of quests to take on, you gain a majority of them by talking to different townsfolk and having them ask you for help directly. It's minor, but it does give a sense of purpose for what you're doing. There's also numerous big events that happen throughout the story, all told with an extensive amount of cutscenes. And when you think you've finally finished, you've only just begun. It's not a great story by any means. You're not going to feel super engaged or attached to any of the characters. Though if you read everything they say, there is a lot of entertaining dialogue. But it does give you a purpose for hunting. There's also a few new ways to hunt. There's a new quest type called Huntathons, which allows you to hunt the same monster over and over again until time runs out. You can also now do Expeditions, which are semi-randomly generated straightforward paths to hunt random monsters and collect rare materials, possibly extremely rare weapons and armor. Arena quests also return, along with online leaderboards, making Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate have the most single player stuff to do ever. And while the single player is easily the best the franchise has ever had, it's always been the multiplayer that makes Monster Hunter an incredible game. You and up to three allies can all hunt together. This can be done either through local Wi-Fi or online. The online functions as it did before, with creating an online gathering hall or searching for one to join. It's like a lobby system. I can safely say that the online works perfectly. I experienced zero lag or connection issues throughout my time playing it. However, there is no voice chat at all. It instead uses a simple text chat system. You're able to set quick messages to use on the fly or the clunky touchscreen keyboard. If you're an experienced player of Monster Hunter, there is tons of new things here for you to enjoy. The most obvious are the two new weapons, the Charge Blade and the Insect Glaive. Both are super fun to use and thankfully absolutely not overpowered as some people are led to believe. Although powering up the Insect Glaive is bizarrely convoluted compared to the other weapons. All of the old weapons also come back with new attacks. Aside from the air attacks, they've all been given additional combo swings or other charged hits. They're all excellent. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate also has the highest number of monsters of any game in the series. This includes several new ones, which are excellent in design and gameplay. Some truly unique ones were made here. There are also lots of returning monsters, including several that haven't been seen since 2009's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. But even with the old monsters coming back, they all feel new. This is because all returning monsters have been given new attacks, and you can mount them now, and many of them are now being affected by the stamina system, making them get exhausted and search for food. Plus, there is a new frenzy virus that's key to the story that can affect monsters, making them go berserk. This causes them to have new attacks and be much more dangerous. The difficulty in general has been increased from Monster Hunter 3. For veteran hunters, it's great to have a sense of challenge again. Overall, the controls work very well on the 3DS, even with the original models. The lock-on camera works great to keep you focused on the large monster. The touchscreen does have a virtual D-pad for camera controls, which is okay at best, but it gets the job done since it isn't needed that much. And of course, on the new 3DS XL models, you can use the new C-Stick or extra shoulder buttons for camera control. I could go on and on, but I'll simply say that this is the best Monster Hunter game they've ever made. It's the most fresh the series has felt in years, with the most amount of content, monsters, single player, just a ridiculous amount of stuff to do. It's not unheard of to spend 
hundreds of hours into this game and not see everything. The game steadily and consistently introduces new monsters to you, making you earn new weapons, new armor, and new abilities. It's the true sense of reward and progression that makes these games so fun to play. The single player is a lot better, but not great. I still think they could find a better way to teach new players, and the lack of an online voice chat is kind of a bummer. And truth be told, I do wish that this game was also available on the Wii U, and not just the 3DS, but oh well. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate earns a 9 out of 10. Not only is it one of the best Monster Hunter games they've ever made, it's one of the best 3DS games ever made. Go out, buy Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and see why I love this franchise so very, very much.